You know, here we are a week and a half before Arkansas duck season opens. And I've been getting tons of emails and phone calls, people saying, hey, Jimbo, I hear it's dry down there. Hey, what's the water conditions like? Is there gonna be water in the woods this year? Well, as you can tell right now, I'm standing in the edge of John Stevens Reservoir that's normally got water in it this time of year. And you can see it is bone dry. It's gonna take a ton of rain just for things to get normal, let alone a overflow or have water in the woods. One of them super dry years, they've been happening forever. We just got to figure out how to deal with it. And as you can see for right now, this ain't going to be the first pick for opening morning. If y'all remember from last year's show season, you, if you recall a show we did called Speckle Belly Road. We did it right here on this road and was set up, but blackest willow tree you see on the right behind me a couple hundred yards. <laughs> we named this road Speckle Buddy Road just because the specks love to get on this old road in shallow water, get some grit, hang out and loaf on this road up in the day. Well, I can hear some out there and seen some get up a minute ago, but you just never know what's going to happen from one year to the next. Last year was extremely wet. This year is extremely dry. But they're forecasting rain tonight and tomorrow, and you never know how the great duck god will smile kindly upon you. We're just gonna wait and see. <laughs> you know, talk about dry. This is the boat ramp we normally use when we're hunting over here at the reservoir, and the water is normally at least up to about that grass line right there. You know, these rice reservoirs serve several purposes. Besides conserving groundwater for rice production and water and soybeans, there are also great areas for fishing, and also they become waterfowl sanctuaries during the year. The main part of the reservoir here never gets hunted. Even though it's at maybe an all-time low, I'm not sure. We might not be able to hunt where we normally hunt in the reservoir, but you still got several hundred acres of open water for ducks and geese to rest on. This will become extremely important for any future success for this duck season. Hopefully, it won't get any drier than this, and the great duck god will give us some rain. Retuned rice, duck candy right there. They'll like it. What this is, the second crop, regrowth. Uh, this is the field Mr. John and them cut early. Come back and put the water on it, um, hoping that it would do just what it did. It has made very well. It'll be interesting to see what kind of duckies this field gets the rest of the year. I'm betting the next cold front, it'll start loading up. Well, as you can see by looking, there's a few mud puddles around. We've had a couple rains. It's dang sure cooled off. I need a coat on. We're a couple days before duck season. Hadn't really helped the pond out a whole lot or the rivers or by meat or anything else for that matter, but it's a start in the right direction. Maybe there's hope.